the second half. Well, I think we stayed patient. We started doing a better job defensively. And then we got the ball moving a little bit. We got to get the uh, move their defense. Okay, guys, solid play so far. I like what I'm seeing. But just a few things to talk about. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters. There's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Talk about being on this game. Look at the numbers for Mr. Perfect. He has 12 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now, his outside stroke has looked really good today. Last game for the Bulls, they picked up the W against the Hawks in Atlanta. And they did just what you have to do as a road team, guys. They never allowed any momentum to build up against them. Seemed like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, Steve. Reverse spurtability, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses, they immediately made up for it with some instant offense. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler, the backboard. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. And it's Snell in at the three slot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Just five on the clock. With a floater, that's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Derrick Rose. Well, it took a while, but somebody finally got a shot to go. You know, I was starting to get a little concerned for them. I mean, it hadn't been pretty to this point. Here's Mr. Perfect again, Golden State. This is a tremendous solo run he's on. I mean, the kind we've seen him have so many times before. Into Noah. Picked him clean. Here's Mr. Perfect. Throws down the breakaway jam. Fantastic dunk, and he decided to hang around up there for a while, Kevin. Well, maybe, you know, he didn't want to land awkwardly. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was a safety move. Or maybe he just... Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Warriors lead by 16. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Really excellent feed here. And I know we're used to seeing this guy score, but he is no slouch at creating passes and opportunities for his teammates. And he showcases that skill right here on that replay on the court for Golden State here in the fourth Curry and Thompson the Splash Brothers in the backcourt Mr. Perfect out there with Harrison Barnes and it's Spates in at the center locking down the middle and Curry throws it down just look at how quickly their lead has grown over the course of the last few possessions boy they've really saved their best for last haven't they knocked loose Passes it to Mr. Perfect. Fires from the wing. It counts. This is going to be a great game for them. No win on the road comes easy in the... Listen up. I want you busting your butt in practice today. Working harder on defense, running up and down the court, making all the hustle plays. Let's get after it.
Hey, listen up. I've gone to bat for you since before we signed you to this team. So when you play like you did today, it reflects poorly on me as well as you. And I don't like to look bad. So if we need to put in the extra work, we'll do it. One thing I know for sure, if you continue to play like you did today, your minutes will go down, and that's never a good thing. So focus. Get settled, everyone. It's time to get to work. Today, the points of emphasis we're looking at are what it means to run our offense through one of our scorers and limiting the transition offense of our opponents. As you know, we have some really potent scorers on this team. At certain times, coach is going to run the offense through one of them. This could be because he has a mismatch, or maybe he sees someone who has a hot hand who can help us close out the game. So let's take a look at some game film illustrating what we should be doing when coach wants us to run the offense through one of our scorers. Now, on the defensive end, more and more teams are getting better at scoring easy transition baskets. So we need to know what to do to limit them. Most likely, when we go up against a good transition team, coach will be asking us to step up our transition defense. Okay, let's take a look at a few plays to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, that's going to do it for today. There's no excuse not to know what's expected of you when coach calls for either of these points of emphasis in a game. See you at practice. You got it, coach.